Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson. And I want to say thank you for Jessica for the invitation and for Ryan for facilitating me this morning. It has, in fact, been really nice. He actually made um, the environment so well because he had some nice Jamaican music playing in the background. Even though I'm not from Jamaica, from Trinidad, it was, in fact, very comforting. Okay, well, my name is um, Gregory Smith. I'm the CEO and founder of Paxi, the country's very first on-demand ride-sharing service for pets or people traveling with pets. That's supposed to be me there. Um, a bit of my background, um, I hold three master's degrees, one in aviation and finance. I'm securities licensed. I train with a multitude of government and also private organizations. In addition to which, I have some measure of aviation training. You're still seeing me here on the ground. That means I was fairly safe when I did have my time. Um, I worked also for the government, the military, some um, colleges. I currently lecture at the graduate and the undergraduate levels in aviation and aerospace, business and finance. And I've also worked for some banking institutions. And I consider myself to be a creative and dedicated um, strategic planner and manager. I am married and I do have adult kids. Of course, you all know the challenges with that in itself. Paxi is dedicated to our pet llama, Paco. Um, we had very little means by which we could actually take him to places that we think he wanted to go. So for instance, you'd see him in that little pool there, <laughs> and he would take over the pool from the ducks, who really pool supposed to be for. So we said, if we need to take Paco to the beach, I'm thinking in his mind, or in some cases where we need to take him to the vet, how can we get him there in the most affordable, convenient, and safe manner. And we believe that not only us had that problem, but probably other pet owners might have, in fact, have that problem. So we went about um, sort of trying to define what the problem might be, and we found that there are three major components of the problem. First of all, pet owners have a unique challenge transporting their pets on demand, very important, and to different places in a safe, convenient, comfortable, and also efficient manner. Secondly, we also felt that most on-demand ride-sharing services, and I don't want to call any names, we are in fact live, um, they do of course limit pets on persons with pets to travel, and if they do, it must be a service animal, in addition to which there might be a surcharge actually um, charged to that person. And thirdly, pet owners require an on-demand means by which they can also do their pet sitting and dog walking services. So we went about to looking at the industry to see who actually have pets, where these pets are located, and in some cases, some key elements of the ride share industry. And what we found is that there are at least 85 million pet owners in the United States, and the estimated pet population is approximately 176 million Pets. And we believe it's actually more than that because some persons have not just one or two, some might have eight or ten pets in themselves. In addition to which, pet ownership over the last three years increased from 56% to 68%. And when we looked at um, the, the pet rated sales in itself, um, we saw that in itself it was about 75 billion in 2019. And with the ride-sharing industry, actually 61 billion in 2018, but is actually estimated to increase to 218 billion by 2025. In addition to which, Lyft and Uber, they do occupy at least 98% of the market, something which of course is extremely important. So we felt that there was an opportunity, and that opportunity is an on-demand ride-sharing service which focuses on pets and allow persons to travel with pets especially for pet owners, persons with disabilities, with service animals, and then of course the elderly are in fact key persons we think that this service would of course provide um, some benefit. And of course individuals who might want to have wished to have a pet, but they do of course have challenges because they are demanding a schedule. What we'll do, we'll pick up and deliver your pets and take them to the groomers, to the vet, to dog walks, and we'll even take your pet to the pet party or in some cases to pet weddings. Yes, they do have pet weddings in itself. 
All you need to do is to download our app, and you are seeing here now um, a screenshot of our Google Play Store. And you notice the app, of course, highlights what Paxi is about and some key elements. And of course, you can use Paxi either like any ride sharing service, or you can become part of a discount club and, of course, re re receive 20% discounts on all of our services. Um, what we also felt <laughs> is that um, in using the service, it was important to have an identification protocol, and we established that through using our radio frequency identification devices. We also partner with pet sitters, veterinary clinics, and so forth to form what we call a Paxi vendor network of services. And of course, at this point in time, we believe we are unique in several ways. It's the first on-demand ride-sharing um, service, and we offer other key benefits such as accident and term insurance for our workers, something not heard of in the, in of the, in, in the, in the industry. Um, we are located at the Daytona Beach Incubator. We have developed our marketing plan. We have actually hired 300 citizen workers, and we are located in 10 cities across the United States. And we're, of course, launching into other cities in the next 90 days. So thank you again very much, and we look forward to providing service not only to Daytona Beach, but also to Ocala in the next 90 days or so. So thank you again. Have a great morning.